Recently, we had showcased an open source fork of Bolt.no that's called Autodev. It's developed by a cool new YouTuber called Cole, and I have a lot of respects for him for encouraging the open source community to keep further developing Bolt.no. For the people who do not know, Bolt.no is an AI coding agent that's capable of prompting, running, editing, and deploying full stack applications within a couple of seconds. It's capable of outperforming other AI coding agents like Klein, V0, you have Ader, Cursor, and many others. And now recently, Autodev has a huge new update featuring many new types of features. So let's dive straight into taking a look at these new PRs. Let's first take a look at the first feature where we can now utilize Olama models with higher context length. In my last video, we had covered how to use Olama models with Autodev. However, we faced an issue regarding the context numbers. It was actually a hassle to set this, but now you don't need to worry about setting up any sort of process of context where you can easily just select the provider and you can easily select the model that you would want from that provider and you can start using bolt.new with it. Now, here comes the big update. There is now a dedicated terminal for AI operations, where it now replaces the previous approach of using throwaway shell processes. And basically this new architectural change improves the reliability and it provides better process management and it enhances the user experience when executing AI driven commands. So this is something where it will now provide this new dedicated terminal within the bottom section. Next up, we have a new feature that's called code streaming which is within the editor and it allows users to see the code as it is being generated by the ai now while the ai writes files the context streams live in the editor and it's going to provide a more interactive and real-time experience it's an enhancement that improves the user experience and it's by providing immediate visual feedback on ai generated code and this is going to allow users to easily track changes as they happen and better understand the ai's decision making process in real time it is basically possible with two crucial things it will automatically select the file that's being edited in the editor which you can see right now which is app.jsx and it will also have the ability to switch the code and view automatically when Bolt starts editing a new file. Another cool new feature is that they've implemented the open router models and this is where you can access every open router model. They've enhanced labels, they've also optimized a dynamic list which is where you can actually access any model from open router so you can easily access whatever model that you would want with this new provider a small but big change is that they've added this new button which is load from file system this is something that was added to the workbench to load files from the host which is something that will enable better sync between local files as well as the web container in bolt a really cool new feature is that they've added an AI tool calling system that enables template selection, tool execution, and interactive user confirmation. It's integrated within the chat functionality for a seamless experience in template-based projects, which is where it is going to be more of an AI driven operation. In terms of the addition of new models, they've added the ability to integrate models from LM Studio. You can also have the new Sonnet 3.5 and Heiko 3.5 models integrated within this new fork. You also have the ability to add the Gemini Experimental 1114 model to Bolt.new. And if you haven't seen my video on this, you should definitely take a look at it because it is currently the best ranked model on Chatbot Arena. You also have the ability to access the Quen 2.5 Coder 32B, which is a really powerful open source coding based model. They've added voice prompting, which is where you can now have voice prompting functionality using Whisper. This is where they've used the provider and Whisper model where it could be configured through your environment variable. And you can have it so that you can prompt up various sorts of generations with your voice now. Pretty small, but a really cool update that is definitely gonna enhance the overall framework, which is where you can now have chat history backed up and restore functionalities. And this is essentially where it will enable users to save and reload previous conversations quite easily. So now that I have gotten all of these updates out of the way, let's take a look at how you can install this locally. 
To get started, you're going to need to have the prerequisites fulfilled. Make sure that you have Git installed and this is to easily clone the repository onto your computer. Make sure you have Node.js installed, Python installed, VS Code to edit the configuration environments as well as an API key from any provider that you want to utilize. In this case, I'm using Anthropic to access the new Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model. Now, if you're going to be installing with Mac or Linux, make sure you have Docker installed because this is another approach that you can install this with. Now, since I'm on Windows, I'm not going to be using the Docker Express way. I'm going to be uh, running it without Docker with the pnpm command. So you need to also make sure that you have this installed. But now what we're going to be doing is getting started and showcasing how you can install this. If you're going to be running this with Docker, it's fairly easy. You're going to need to just simply go over to your composer. After you have cloned your repository, you just want to easily paste in the build command and the compose command, and then you're going to be able to run up the new fork quite easily within your local host. So first things first, head over to the GitHub repository link, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, as well as all the other links that I use in today's video. So go over to this repo, click on this green button and click on copy to clipboard. Once you have done that, scroll back down to the installation guide. And what you can do is you can simply open up your command prompt. So go ahead and open this up and type in the command git clone paste in the link and click enter now since i already have this installed i'm just going to showcase the commands and how you can easily install this so now that you have cloned this you can go into the bolt.new any lm folder and that's by typing in cd bolt.new dash any dash llm and click enter once you have done that you can then click on copying this to your clipboard which is the pnpm install command to install the de dependencies and you can simply paste this in and click enter this will install everything that is necessary once you have done so you can then go into vs code and then you can open up the bolt.new directory that you just cloned so go ahead and simply open this up go over to env and rename this to only env and take out the dot example part once you have done that Go ahead and paste in the provider API key that you want to be utilizing with bolt.new. In this case, I'm using the Anthropic API key, so I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. Once I have pasted this in, I can go over to File and click on Save. After you have set your API key, you can start the application with the run dev command, pnpm run dev, and then you can paste this in into your command prop and click enter this will start this up on your local host within a couple of seconds so just give it a couple seconds and you can see that it will provide the link to your local host and then you can head over to this within your web browser and within a couple of seconds it should load up and there we go we have bolt.new which is the open source fork and you can see that we have all of these providers and like i mentioned you have open router now where you have the ability to access every open router model you also have the ability to access all your op olama models that you have installed locally so now what we're going to be doing is going ahead and testing out all of these new features let's go ahead and build a to-do app with react you can see that it's going to now stream all the responses for you it's going to showcase all the generations as well as all the different commands being executed within your terminal on the bottom so all the changes are being made live and you can see all the updates as to what is happening within each and every file and there we go it has now finished the generation to this to-do app now if you're interested definitely take a look at the autodev roadmap because they have a lot of cool new interesting things coming up so definitely take a look at this with the link in the description below but that's essentially it for this new update video on bolt.new or autodev and there's a lot to it so i definitely recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value out of it make sure you take a look at the patreon page so that you can access our private discord which gives out different sorts of private subscriptions on a monthly basis for free make sure you follow me on twitter so that you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of ai and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas